today's a little bit of a exciting day. We are going to see about getting my tattoo removed. Hello from the future. Today we're going to talk all about my tattoo removal process. Hi, it's me two years later. So for those of you who don't know, I used to have a tattoo on the inside of my right wrist. It looked like this. And this is what it looks like now. I know, look at this bare wrist. This is something that I get asked about all the time, both online and in real life. So I wanted to make one video tying everything up, showing the whole process. These are gonna be my videos from January 2020 up through June 2021. And I warn you, this is going to be a journey as far as uh, my appearance goes. So I literally have a list and some notes of all the questions that I normally get so I can go through everything and not forget anything. So let's start with why am I doing this? Let's rewind and talk about the tattoo a little bit. So I got this tattoo when I was 17 and I was very stupid when I was 17. I remember people being like, well, what are you gonna do if you have to cover it for a job one day? And I was like, if I'm gonna have a job that's gonna not let me be myself, then I don't wanna work there. Like it was so stupid and so like 17 year old of me. Obviously this is a Harry Potter tattoo. I don't hate Harry Potter, but it's not, you know, my entire personality anymore. And this tattoo was just so visible and so obvious. I didn't want it to have people create a perception of me that isn't necessarily what I am. I don't want to be the girl with the Harry Potter tattoo, even though in high school that was like what I really, really wanted to be. And the main, main reason, honestly, uh, JK Rowling kind of turned out to be a real dickhead, huh? Like she really, really sucks. And even since I made this decision, she's gotten worse. So I'm kind of like, you know what? Let's just separate it. Let's cut the cord. Let's be done. Number two, how much does it cost? This is actually probably the most common question that I get. It is very expensive <laughs> to get a tattoo removed. I paid just about a little over two grand. So in Florida, the place that I went to did a like prepayment plan where you could prepay for eight sessions and then you get a discount on them. So I did that for my first eight. Every additional session after that was about 200 to $250. So I just calculated it up. I paid $17.70 for my first eight sessions. I paid $225 for my second session and then my last session here in seattle i paid 200 for so my entire grand total to get this removed was 2245 dollars my next question i get a lot is how does it work i'm going to explain it the way that my doctor explained it to me so if you are a, a medical science doctor person and this is wrong feel free to correct me but this is how my doctor explained it to me basically your tattoo is like ink cells okay like little ink pieces what the laser is doing is breaking down the ink cells so they're tiny and your white blood cells can come and be like munch 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 and each time i go my the ink cells would get smaller and smaller and smaller until eventually they were just all gone that's how my doctor explained it to me other people might have better ways of explaining it i was not able to take video of the actual procedure that wasn't allowed at either of the places that i went but i took photos of the machine so you can kind of see so i'll insert those around here yeah i guess these don't really make a lot of sense without context but these are the pictures of the machines that i uh they used to zap me and i found a video of somebody else getting a tattoo removed that i thought showed the process pretty well so you can kind of visualize it um so i'll put a clip of that right here so you can kind of see like what it looks like and stuff everybody always asks how long it took me as well um this does take a really long time most tattoos my doctor told me take like six to ten but it really really depends on the location um what the tattoo is what kind of ink you have mine took 10 sessions i had my first session in january of 2020 and then i went about every four to eight weeks after that obviously my timeline was a little messed up because of covid and because we moved in the middle of getting it done all in all mine took about a year and a half to get it fully removed and then i also get asked what does it feel like okay so apparently i felt the need to sing every time i told you how bad it hurt so please enjoy this compilation of that it hurt really bad it hurt so bad it hurts really bad but it's okay it hurts really bad it hurts so bad it hurts so bad i forgot how much it hurts my doctor in florida Florida described it as a hot rubber band hitting your skin. I would say it doesn't hurt as bad as getting a tattoo, but it is more sore afterwards. And then I also wanted to tell you where I went. Fully, fully recommend both of the places that I went. The Florida one was called Pristine Laser Center. It's in Altamont Springs. I was recommended them by somebody else and they were totally worth it. The other one that I went to is called Serenity Rejuvenation Center. Both of those were great. I would recommend both. Obviously they did a good job. So I think 
that is just about everything if you have any other questions please feel free to ask i think i covered just about everything so with all that being said without any further ado here's my tattoo removal vlogs so we just got out of the appointment and i'm doing it i kind of can't believe that i'm doing this basically what he did was took me in and put my arm down like this and he zapped me and um, he had cool air like blowing on my wrist the whole time so that it wouldn't feel as bad. He gave me this ice pack to use for the next couple hours. I'll check in later on as we go along and when I take the bandages off, I'll show you what it looks like too. All right, let's see. Is it gonna be gross, do you think? I don't know. My wrist feels like heavy. That's what it looks like. And we'll do another one in about a month. These little parts are like fading away already. This is crazy, it's crazy. Okay, let's put some lotion on it. So it's been six weeks since my last one. Um, let me show you what it looks like now. You can see that it's still, it's a little faded around like where the H is and on like the bottom left. So I'm curious to see how much this one's gonna help it. The last time he told me that the first appointment is always the most painful because there's the most ink in there. And then from there it just gets better and better. So it has been approximately six hours since I got this one done. So I'm gonna go ahead and Take the bandage off. This is, look, this is like completely faded. That little part on the bottom of the H, that's like gone. This is completely gone. I'm shook. All right, hey, so it's the next day. Uh, I just wanted to give you a little update of how it's looking. You can see that it's fading, especially like the bottom of the H there and like on the corners. It's looking really good. I'm really excited. Um, it's been a while since our last appointment because coronavirus happened, but we are going back it's a few hours later. It's a, a good long time later, actually. He went over some of these parts twice. Like, he went over this whole right side twice. This is after the third session, what it's looking like a few days later. I'm very pleased with how it's healing and how it's looking. I'll put a side-by-side -side of what it looked like before, so you can see. And, um, yeah. So... We're doing good. Um, I wanted to do a before for this one because I feel like I'd normally just show you the after and it always kind of looks like really swollen and red. It's definitely fading, especially in like the sides, like on the end of the triangle right there. And the really dark parts on the lettering is getting lighter too. So I'm really excited to see what we get out of today. All right. Hello. Here I am, fresh out of the appointment. He uh, used a different type of laser today, so that was exciting. The way he explained it to me was like on like a home improvement show when they're like demoing a house. You go in with like the sledgehammer first, so that's the first laser we've been using. And then you go in with like the tinier hammers, and that's the second one we used. So uh, I got my tiny hammer. Okay, so I'm gonna warn you, it's a little bit more bloody than usual. Here is how we're looking. This side, it's like, it was really bleeding. It doesn't hurt more than it did before though it honestly like i felt like it didn't hurt as bad as it normally does which is good all right so it's the next day after my tattoo appointment i just wanted to show you what it looks like all right so here we are looking pretty gross pretty bloody and we'll be able to see more fading over the next couple of days but here is how we're looking day after session number four so all right today was my fifth i think fifth tattoo removal appointment all right well chris didn't hit the record button so you didn't get to watch me unwrapping it but here it is it's looking pretty red welcome to another tattoo removal today the session went very well we used a new laser and he said it's good when that laser comes out because it means we're almost done come over into the light and let's take a look looking pretty red it said it takes a longer time to fade once we get into these later sessions but I will show you what it looks like in a little bit. Hey, good afternoon slash morning. It's the next day. You can see it's like kind of scabby and gross looking. It's like a little bit raised. Um, I just put some lotion on it, so that will help with that. Well, it's looking very faded. Like, it, it looks like in the video that this is just because of the light, but it actually is like very, very faded. So I'm very excited about that. It's a couple hours later. Let's see what she looks like. Oh, very red. Looking pretty gross. Look at how red it is. It's a little swollen too. It doesn't hurt, surprisingly. It's a little itchy, but it doesn't hurt. All right, it's many, many hours later. Um, it kind of hurts a little bit. It hurt a lot today, probably because he went over it three times, but let's see. Oh, it's bright red. Scary, my blood tattoo. Um, she's looking very faded. You can barely even see it. And I'm just really excited. It's almost gone. It's looking so good. Oh my God, it looks so good on camera. I'm obsessed with it. I just got home from work. Also, tomorrow's my last day of work. 
Isn't that weird? Uh, ew! So red and gross. Ew. That looks so disgusting. All right, hi. Uh, it's a couple months after uh, my last appointment. The doctor in Florida told me to wait a little while before doing another one because you're supposed to like space them out more as you get towards the end. I only have a teeny tiny little bit. You can barely even see it. I found a new place here. So I'm going to check it out for a consultation and I will uh, let you know how it goes after. So hopefully we can get this zapped away it's uh 20 minutes later and i got zapped it's just sore like it's not like like it's okay but like ouchie it hurt it's all good hopefully we're we're donezo after this 200 bucks and 20 minutes later i'm tattooless hopefully okay they didn't they did at the doctor in Florida, they wrap like the whole thing you know and this one they just did like a little and so i have the okay i'm just gonna do it i'm just gonna do it ow all right, here we are. Well, it feels okay. It feels like heavy a little bit. Hopefully, this is my last one. But yeah, this is the final result. Haters will say it's Photoshop, but I promise you it actually looks like that. So that's everything. So I hope that you maybe learned something about the tattoo removal process in this video. Any more questions at all, please feel free to leave them below and I will answer them as best as I can. This was a very long process for me and I had to do tons of research for it. So I would love to be able to help anybody who's potentially looking to get this done as well. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. No, I'm not self-conscious. I just don't want you to listen. I don't want you to listen to me talk. Wait. No, I do want you to listen to me talk, but not while I'm filming a video. Teddy. The best part is I put my headphones on right when you were saying that, so I just thought you saying that. I know you too much. Okay, put your headphones on. Okay, bye. Hey, stop.